Hi, I'm Kate. I'm a library assistant at Multnomah County Library. And one of the things that I like to do at work is help people get access to ebooks. And I'm going to walk you through the steps to download and get started reading an ebook on your iPhone today. You can borrow ebooks through Library to Go, which is a service that is shared among libraries across Oregon that we purchase from Overdrive. The books we purchase from Overdrive have digital rights management applied also known as DRM, which is what, sat what allows us to satisfy publishers that we can lend books to people without giving them away for free. What that means for you is that you'll have to check out the books with your library card, and you may have to wait for a copy of an ebook, just like you would have to wait for a copy of a physical book. Also, you can have six digital titles checked out at once. To get started, you'll need to have at least OS 4 on your phone, but if you have an older operating system, you'll still be able to check out audiobooks using the OverDrive app. The first thing you'll want to do is head to the App Store and download the OverDrive Media Console for iPhone. There's also an app for the iPad if you have one. I'm going to walk you through the steps to download and get started reading ebooks on your iPhone today. Once the app is installed, the first thing you want to do is authorize it with your Adobe ID. And you'll need to do this to be able to borrow books. So go ahead, go to Get Books, then Settings, then Authorize with Adobe ID. If you don't have an Adobe ID, you can tap the Get a Free Adobe ID button, and it will open up to the adobe.com site, and you'll be able to create an Adobe account. Once you've filled everything in, and you could do this on a PC if you wanted and then come back, then tap continue. And then you can go back to the OverDrive app and enter your Adobe ID. So to start checking out, go back to Get Books. Now if you were using this for the first time, this website wouldn't show up here. So let's go to Add a Website. And you can search by zip code or browse for libraries. I'm going to search by zip code. And I'm going to just tap Multnomah County Library. And that brings me to the Oregon Digital Library Consortium. Now from here, I can browse. And what I'm looking for for eBooks is Adobe EPUB eBook titles. The OverDrive mobile site is only going to show you the formats that you can download on your phone. So EPUB, MP3s, and then public domain eBook titles. But EPUB is a good place to start. Now you can see we have quite a few copies. I can see there are 8,594 EPUB eBooks. Now a lot of these are checked out. So I'm going to search for something and look for something that's checked in. So you can see when I search that all the formats come up. So I'm going to look for EPUB eBook and something that says add to to go cart. There we go the perennial killer. Now you can also search on a PC and limit to titles that are available in a specific format. And I'm going to proceed to checkout. Then select my library. and then enter my library card number. And I'm going to enter the whole thing starting with 211680. Then log in. It 
So the lending period here, it says seven days. Now I can go to my digital account and change the default lending period to up to 21 days. But for now, seven days is fine with me. So then I confirm checkout. And then download. It can take a minute to download a title. There you go. I've also run into, you may need to turn off the phone and turn it back on to get it to download successfully. So once it's in your library, you can go ahead and just tap on the book to start reading. If I want to change the text size, I can do that. I can make it smaller. can also jump in the contents to get started. Now, when a book expires, this one after seven days, you'll need to manually delete it. It will prompt you, but you can also delete it before the time, uh, before, your, before the download period is over, but that won't take it out of your library account. So if you want to, you can delete it by swiping or you can just leave it in there. Things sometimes do go wrong in this process and we're still learning it too. If you need help, you can find the contact us link on our website on the top right corner and call us, email us, or chat with us. Also, you can come into the library and we can try and work through it together.